Um, okay, so I've gone ahead and I've set up the other side of this character, I think, didn't I? I did, except for that guy. Um, let's make sure that is good. Since I didn't set him up, let me go ahead and just do that, make sure it's done right. Sometimes it's easier to redo than to um, have it turn out you did it halfway and it breaks. Okay, so I'm creating a null for the clavicle, right clavicle control. Deleting the null. Uh, the controller, I'm freezing transformations and parenting it to the null. And then freeze and transformations again. And then I am going to go ahead and constrain parent. And now that should be good. OK. <clears throat> um, so I've, I've got all this. And what I want to do is I want to put this all under a group. Um, I've separated it from the rest of the, the hierarchy, and I'm just going to hit Control G, and I'm going to call this the um, right arm group, and I'm going to go ahead and move its pivot point to the right shoulder. Next, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to create a dummy, dummy locator, I should say, locator. And that's just down here. And I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to also move that up to the clavicle joint, which is right there. Looks good. Let me just check, see what I named this other one. I called that the right clavicle dummy, or the left clavicle dummy, so I'll call this one the right clavicle dummy. And freeze transformations on it. And now I'm going to parent this to that clavicle, the, uh, the right arm group, to the right clavicle. And hit P. That looks good. OK, and I'm going to select the clavicle controller here. clavicle joint. Okay, so I'm going to hit, sorry, not the clavicle, this, and then this. And constrain parent. And um, so what I want to do want to do is make sure I do maintain offset on this one. Like so. And you should end up with a little kind of tail off your hierarchy here for the right clavicle parent constraint. Now I'm going to select the um, right arm group and the right clavicle dummy. And I'm going to go into the hypershade. And I'm going to select the input and output connections. All right, and I'm just going to drag those over here. And um, 
So in Hypershade, uh, what I want to do is I'm going to go to Utilities. And what I'm looking for is the um, Multiply Divide node. So select that. And I'm just going to middle mouse drag it right to the middle there. Like so. And I'm going to right click and say Rotate. And then select Rotate. And then left click on this little um, input arrow. And I'm going to say, make it go to input one. And then I'm going to go to the output, and I'm going to right click, output, output, left click on right arm groups, input, and I'm going to go ahead and say rotate. <clears throat> um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a, um, a new attribute. Uh, I'm going to put this on the arm. And I'm just going to call it um, do add attribute. And uh, hold on, let me cancel real quick. Let me just make sure I name it the same thing. I called it inherits rotate. OK, so it, add attribute. And I'll call this one just right inherits rotate. Um, data type is float, and this is fine, scalar, and I'm just going to make it negative 10, or sorry, 0 to 10. And I'll say add, and that's cool. Okay, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a set driven key. So I'm going to go to animate, and set driven key. Set, and I'm going to load driver, inherits rotate, and then load driven, and I'll select the input 2x, 2y, 2z, and these are going to all, oops, and these are all going to be negative 1. And let's do that. I'm going to say key. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to um, bring this up to 10. Right? And I'm going to select the multiply divide node again. Right? And this time I'm going to change those to 1. Key. Okay? So... Now we should be able to grab our alien character here, and we should see that. Uh, some white paint issues, but don't worry about that. And if we go to zero, this should now move independently. So I can get a little shoulder shrug. Just like that. And that's it. You can also do like you know this kind of thing. So you know, move forward as well, and that's it.